Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Corinne. Welcome to my bridal makeup tutorial. I'm wearing my wedding pearls that Aiden gifted me in honor of this tutorial and I'm also wearing my wedding day earrings as well to get me in that bridal mood. So if you didn't know, I got married in November so it's been about five months now and I am gonna share with you all of my secrets and tips when it comes to keeping your makeup on all day long and if you're like me and you don't trust anyone else to do your makeup, then this tutorial is for you. Okay, so the very first thing you're gonna wanna do before anything else is moisturize. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my very favorite moisturizer, the Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. And obviously on your wedding day, you're not gonna have your brows already done, but I always do my brows off of camera just because they take me so long, but I do have a brow tutorial up on my channel if you're curious on how I do my brows. So not only are you gonna wanna moisturize your skin, but you're also gonna wanna moisturize your lips. So I would go ahead and put like a super heavy, heavy lip balm on or even Vaseline works. I'm gonna go in with a sugar advanced therapy lip treatment. So I am gonna start by priming my lids with Tarte Shape Tape. And the reason I'm using this is not only because I do it every day, but it's also gonna help cover up any veins and discoloration in your eye and give you a really good base for your eyeshadow. And for me personally, I like to set my eyes just because I don't like how creasy they get if you don't set them. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that everything is smoothed out on my eyelid. And then I'm gonna dip into my compact right here and just go ahead and set my lids. And for the bridal look today, I'm gonna be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam just because I have been dying to do a bridal look using this palette and they did advertise this as more of like a bridal themed palette. So first and foremost, I'm gonna be dipping into the shade Orange Soda right here and I'm just gonna work this into the crease. It doesn't need to be super neat or anything like that. It's just our transition shade. Okay, so now I'm gonna dip into the shade Burnt Orange right here and I'm gonna focus this in the outer corner of my eye. So now I'm going to dip into the shade Rustic right here and I'm going to do the same thing as before and really focus this on the outer corner. Now I'm going to go in with a completely clean blending brush. This has no product on it and I'm just going to go ahead and buff everything in. Make sure that it's all seamless and blended out perfectly. I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Corrupt and this is just a dark brown eye pencil and I am going to apply that to my lid. I'm gonna try and keep it as close to the lash line as I can, but it doesn't need to be perfect in any way because we will be blending it out. Now I'm gonna be taking the Sigma E55 eye shading brush and I'm gonna start buffing this eyeliner in and trying to blend it out. So now I'm gonna be taking my Morphe M165 here and I'm going to lightly, lightly, lightly dip into the black shade right here and then I'm gonna dip it into rustic as well and I'm just gonna pack this into my outer corner and I'm also going to swipe up with this shade and now with a precise blending brush I am gonna dip back into rustic and focus that again on the outer corner just to deepen things up and now for the lid shade, I'm going to be taking the Morphe M421 and I'm going to be dipping into Stila Kitten. And I'm actually not going to spray this just because I don't want this shade to be super overpowering. We're kind of going for more of a soft glam look. So we're going to get back to the eyes a little bit later and we're going to move on to the face right now. So I am going to be using the Becca Backlight Priming Filter as my primer. And using a primer is super important, especially on your wedding day, to help your foundation stick to your face, give you a little bit more of longevity. It also helps your foundation to melt into your skin a little bit better as well. And I am choosing to use this Dewy Luminous Primer because in my opinion, it's best to use a matte foundation on your wedding day, just because matte foundations tend to stick better than Dewy Luminous or even natural natural finish foundations do because dewy and luminous foundations tend to break up easier throughout the day especially if you get sweaty or oily and although I have switched over to using natural finish foundations personally because I think they look prettier and more natural I just think that it's better for your wedding day to use a foundation that is going to stick to your face 
and last all day long. So although I am using matte foundation, I still kind of want that dewy and luminous look. And that's why I chose to use the backlight priming filter, just so that we do have a little bit of that glow peeking through. So I have two different foundations right here that I'm gonna be mixing together, but I would recommend either of these to you on your wedding day because both of them are super matte and their staying power is honestly incredible. The only reason I'm using both of them is because this one has an olive undertone and this one has a yellow undertone and it's lighter whereas this one is way too dark for me. So when I mix these two together, I get the perfect color combination for my skin. And because this foundation is so matte, I'm actually gonna take the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in Champagne Pop and I'm just gonna add like a half a pump of that. That way your foundation will still be matte, but it'll have the illusion of being a natural or dewy finish. And I am going to be using a damp beauty sponge to press that into my face. And I would say on your wedding day to make sure to really take your time when you're blending your foundation in, go over it a few more times than you usually would just to make sure that everything is blended flawlessly into the skin and make sure that you have no patches or anything like that. And also as you're continuing to blend the foundation on your face, it's helping it sink in a little bit better and helping it set into your skin. Okay, so next up is concealer and I'm gonna be using Shape Tape. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set all of the places that I concealed. And before you set, you wanna make sure to go back in with your beauty blender to make sure everything is smoothed out, especially on your under eyes, so that you know that you're not setting any creases, but you're setting a smooth surface. So I am gonna be using this Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Compact. And the reason I'm using this to set my face is because I know for a fact that this does not have any flashback to it. And it's really important to make sure that you're using a powder on your wedding day that you know for a fact does not have any flashback because the worst thing in the world would be to get all of your wedding pictures back and see that you have a flashback merry face. So if you're not sure about a powder, my suggestion would be to use it to set all over your face and take a couple flash pictures, go into the bathroom, turn off the lights, take a flash picture of your makeup and see if your face lit up super white. Um, wear it for a couple days and just make sure that there is absolutely no flashback in that powder. I'm only gonna be setting the places that I've concealed um, as well as my smile lines. Because this foundation is already so matte, I really don't wanna cover up any of the pretty dewiness that we added to the foundation. Now for bronzer, I'm gonna be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in shade Saddle. And my suggestion for you is to go a little heavier on the bronzer than you would normally because believe it or not, makeup does not show up very well in photography and I wish I would have done this on my wedding day because I will insert a couple of pictures of my makeup on my wedding day. You can't even tell that I'm wearing bronzer or blush on my wedding day because I did not apply enough. I was thinking in terms of a soft bridal glam. I didn't really take into consideration that I was gonna be photographed all day long and that usually makeup doesn't show up very well in photography. So I definitely go a little bit darker than you usually would so that it shows up on camera. So next I am gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio in Peachy Love. So now I'm gonna go ahead and highlight and I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlight Collaboration with Omrizi. And for me, I love a glowing, crazy beaming highlight. So what I apply may look a little excessive. Now, if you're not a huge makeup girl, you could totally skip highlight or you could do just a little bit. But for me, I wanna be glowing. So first I'm gonna take my Mario Badescu spray. I'm going to spray it on my face. Gonna fan it off a little bit. And once I feel like it's dried down enough, I'm gonna go in with my highlight. I'm gonna start applying that. And adding this highlight is definitely gonna bring back that dewy and luminous look to your skin that I lost when I used the matte foundation. So now we're gonna go back in and finish the eyes up really quickly. I'm gonna dip into the shade Rustic and I'm going to apply that to my lower lash line. 
And just to be a little bit extra, I'm going to dip into this sparkly shade right here and I'm going to apply it to my inner corner. And this is just going to give the illusion that you're awake and that you had a great night rest, that you weren't up all night long, so nervous for your wedding day. It's just going to make you look a little bit more awake and fresh faced. Now I'm going to take that Urban Decay eye pencil that I used earlier. It's just a brown eye pencil in the shade Corrupt and I'm going to put this in my lower lash line. And the reason I'm going for brown is because it's not as harsh as black is. And I think it looks super pretty with brown and green eyes. And my eyes look brown, but they actually have a ton of green in them. And when I use a brown cold pencil like this, it actually brings out the green in my eyes. All right, so now it's one of the most important parts. Don't be a fool and use mascara that's not waterproof. You need waterproof mascara. So that's what I'm gonna apply. You want to make sure that you are completely coating your lashes in this waterproof mascara. For me, I did this same exact face routine and I used waterproof everything that I could. I was crying all day long on my wedding day morning to night and my makeup stayed intact the entire time. I was shocked. Like I was shook. That my makeup was as perfect as it was at the end of the night like I kept asking Aiden I was like how does my makeup look is my mascara running do I need to fix anything and he's like no your makeup looks absolutely perfect and it literally did so this makeup right here is definitely waterproof it's gonna last you all day long it's gonna be perfect from day to night so now let's put on some lashes. So the lash glue that I would recommend to you is the House of Lashes lash glue. This stuff is like super glue that's safe for your eyes. This is the only lash glue that I will ever use just because the hold is so strong. It's amazing. And while those are drying, I am going to move on to lips. So first I am going to apply ColourPop's Strip and this is a matte liquid lip. And really quickly before that dries, I'm gonna take Jeffree Star's Drug Lord and I'm going to apply that to the center. All right, so now my lashes are ready to be applied. And these lashes are by Lash Dream Official and they are in the style Muse. You can use code Corinne to get 15% off. And if you struggle with applying lashes, I do have a video on how to perfectly apply your lashes. And I would definitely suggest practicing like a couple months before your wedding, wear them on the weekends or wear them twice a week or whatever it may be, just so you get comfortable wearing them. Okay, so the very last step for this look is to take setting spray and spray down your face. I am using Mario Badescu because this is the only thing I have, but I would definitely recommend using, there's a bubble in my hair, oh my gosh. But I would definitely recommend using a setting spray that's actually targeted to help your makeup last longer. I just don't have any right now because the setting spray that I really do believe in is the Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray and that setting spray is so expensive. So I don't have that right now. And that is it for my bridal tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it and learned something new. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and also follow all of my social medias. I always put them on the screen right here for you and I'll link them down below as well. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys.